what is up guys you're tuning into episode three of the frontier virtual podcast welcome back uh thank you so far for anybody who's been supporting us we do appreciate it uh if you haven't you can check us out on our website frontier virtual airlines if.weebly.com or on our instagram page uh instagram.com slash frontier va and you can find us uh i'm assuming you're here on our youtube channel uh we are always here just check it under this playlist if you want to join the application can be found on our website uh just Anything else, basically, you need to know about us, just check the uh, Infinite Flight Community Forum, where we do uh, have our majority of new stuff. <clears throat> uh, I do apologize. I will give you guys a heads up. I am slightly sick. So if my voice does sound a little bit scratchy, uh, I do apologize. Uh, we have delayed this podcast release, so we didn't want to do it anymore. All right. But anyway, <clears throat> joining me today in the Frontier studio is my co-host and lovely co-CEO, Matt. Uh, what's up today, Matt? This guy. It's going to be the traditional answer now. Yeah, that's all is. you know. <laughs> well, I think the right answer is the, is the ceiling, but uh, we'll move no. past that. Um, no, I, I could be outside. You, you don't know. <laughs> well, well, you're not, but, but we'll give you that. We'll give you that just for now. Um, uh, well, just uh, kind of pushing it in, um, before we introduce our guest star, who has graciously accepted our invite to the uh, podcast, let me just tell you something uh, we're doing with our YouTube channel. I have had questions about this. Uh, people are wondering why we are posting uh, real world uh, aviation videos on the channel and uh, some of them not even frontier stuff. Uh, the answer is we are kind of expanding. Uh, if you'll see, we changed our YouTube channel name. We are like 75% frontier and the rest is just for uh, entertainment sake. So we don't have that repetitive, you know, every single video is a pretty much the same thing. So, you know, FDS developers, we'd love to have more libraries for the A321, whatever you got on that. <laughs> um, so that's just a little thing about that. Uh, for anyone curious, our YouTube channel is doing that tr transition to real-world aviation. You can find those out of the playlist. I believe there's already one video out. We're going to be sending out some videos that I got from my uh, uh, trip up to O'Hare and back. If you're on the forums, you saw I made some posts about that. A lot of fun. Go fly Frontier. <laughs> um uh, anything you wanted to add, Matt, on our YouTube channel before we jump in? Uh, yeah. So, like you said, we are going to have a lot more um, not Frontier-related stuff. So, you can expect to see, you know, like whenever one of us goes on a flight, we will record it and it will get uploaded there type of thing. So, you can expect more, like, type flight reports type of thing. Exactly. And I'm personally looking forward to that aspect because I, I love watching those type of videos. All right. So... Uh, many of you probably don't know this, but we have um, asked, in my opinion, one of the most amazing of our Frontier pilots onto the channel here today. Uh, he comes, he's been with us for a long time. He joined via one of our Frontier events, which is, again, another great way if you're interested in joining. Just check the forums and you'll see uh, we do have bi-weekly events now. So uh, check those out. And uh, Sir Martinez, uh, he's been with us, like I said, a while and uh, let's just welcome him to the podcast. Welcome aboard. Thank you, Robert. It, it's, it's our pleasure to have you here, and uh, you are the first of many guest stars. For those who don't know, we do have a um, flight dispatcher coming on. We have a uh, A321 pilot coming on, so do keep your eyes peeled for that. But uh, to lead the guests here today, we do have one of the most special people uh, to this airline. So I just want to thank you. Uh, Martinez for being gracious enough to stop by. Uh, how are you doing today? I'm doing uh, really well. How are you? Great, great. Uh, how's the weather where you live? It's sunny. It's, it's nice. <laughs> nice, nice. All right. So um, I do know we do have a list of questions to ask you, but I wanted to first, um, you know, kind of get and this may have been one of the questions before but i'd like you to sort of tell us how you came to get to know you know infinite flight how you went from you know an aviation lover to a, a flight sim lover to you know and then eventually coming out to be one of the uh, top frontier pilots and uh how that all came to be so if you go ahead and tell us that story i don't know if you, that was one of the questions i had for you but uh, go ahead and answer that for me right now Sure. Uh, I came to uh, love aviation from a really young age uh, when I saw planes flying over my house. And 
when I went to the airport to pick up family or go to any trip, I just always loved the seeing aircraft and being in them. Uh, I came to find uh, Infinite Flight because I was looking uh, for a game that was an RC and had good quality. Uh, and it seemed worth the $5 to get uh, Infinite Flight. And I have always enjoyed it ever since. Yeah, I, I think everybody who comes into contact with Infinite Flight uh, as, uh, absolutely enjoys it. It is by far the best uh, mobile uh, in, uh, flight sim. So kudos to the uh, FDS staff. I, I'm going to jump into some questions here. Uh, go ahead and feel free to answer however you would like. So, uh, and there were some community questions, but I'm going to start with some of the questions I had first. But go ahead, go ahead and answer these. Uh, first off, you did sort of tell us how you came to you know, be an aviation lover and how you came to love uh, Infinite Flight. Go ahead and tell us how you became a Frontier pilot, um, more specific. I became, well, I became a Frontier pilot through one of your amazing events. I really enjoyed it, and I wanted to see what uh, Frontier Airlines was about, and I wanted to be a part of more events. Well, uh, I think it's because of these events that we've had such an amazing, amazing family of, of Frontier staff and pilots. And I can tell you, anybody who's joined our airline and is active with us now all agrees on at least one thing. And no, Mike, it's not that Southwest is amazing. It's that we are one big family. So so a round of applause to you, Martinez, for sticking with us this long. And uh, thanks. I'm just so thankful for that one event that brought you, brought you here. Uh, uh, how would you describe the current airline? So modern day, uh, February 2017, uh, versus when you first joined. Like, what are some of the, the changes you've seen? I've seen uh, many hours logged, many new pilots which I always enjoy, uh, and a uh, growing number of flights. Yeah, our, our uh, pilots are very, very energetic when it comes to flying, so thank you to all of you guys for that. Um, Matt, did you have a question you'd like to ask him? Uh, no, but I will start some of the, um, the community questions. Absolutely, go ahead. Okay. All right, so this one is from Delta CRJ900, who is also one of our pilots, and his question is, what is your favorite plane in game and in real life? My favorite plane in real life would be the Airbus A320 and the Boeing 737. Those two are my uh, favorite real world aircraft. For uh, Infinite Flight in the game, I really enjoy flying the Airbus A320, the Dash 8, the Boeing 737, and the Boeing 787. I also love uh, flying the Dash 8 a lot. I just, just love flying it. Yeah, well, the, the Dash 8 is an amazing aircraft. It's personally my favorite one to fly. Yeah, that's that's an aircraft we're going to see Matt flying a lot in the future, so <laughs> I think he can agree with you there on that one. All right, now for um, Delta CRJ Dash 900's second question, what is, what is your favorite airport in-game and in real life? My favorite par- airport in-game would be uh, JFK because of the detail that's put into it. Uh, my favorite airport in real life would be Boston Logan, JFK, SDQ, SJU, and Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood. I've never been to Denver. Nice. So. Well, okay. Then your, your favorite airport is going to change as soon as you hit the uh, borders of Colorado. Just going to warn you there. <laughs> All right. Um, so he, I got another question for you. Um, it's kind of enjoying myself here. Uh, there's been a lot of global hype if you've been on the forums lately. And uh, what are your expectations for global? Like, what, what do you see as being improved? Or what are you looking forward to? I look forward to flying the long routes, like uh, Denver to Miami or Denver to JFK, and the real world call signs that are going to go along with it when flying for Frontier. So, so you're going to have one of the, you know, the the real world call signs. I was actually planning on doing that. Also, we should do a flight. You know, I cannot do a flight longer than two hours. I just, I just do not see anyone being able to do that realistically. That's why you're not an alpha tester, Matt. Well, I mean, pilots of my life, I mean, they can do it because, I mean, it's their job. But, I mean, we we are like students. We have other jobs type of thing. Yeah, so it is going to be uh, slightly harder for us to do a, you know, 17-hour flight. <laughs> so yeah, I do I'm see... Playing. I'm yeah. planning to just do more regional flights, like say, um, Minneapolis to Duluth type of thing. 
Yeah, I'm probably going to stick to my Denver route, so sue me, but those are definitely some of the most beautiful routes. All right, uh, Mr. Martinez, I'll ask one more question, then I'll let Matt uh, do some more community ones. Uh, what is your favorite aspect about Frontier Virtual Airlines, and what has been your favorite uh, implemented feature? So what's your favorite aspect of, our, of the VA, and uh, what do you like that's been added? All right, uh, my favorite aspect about the airline would be our weekly events, our, our internal events, and how we're like one big family. Uh, and I believe my favorite implanted feature would be hashtag photos because of the amazing photos captured by Frontier pilots and staff. I love viewing. Oh, those some some of those photos uh, are absolutely beautiful, and you can also see uh, the most like the top picks on our Instagram page. So thanks to Matt for keeping on that. And go ahead and uh, query him with some uh, more community questions, Matt. Of course. So next one, the next three are going to be from Adam Hussein, one, two, three. And his first question is, what made you want to join Frontier Virtual? What made me want to join was the amazing events. Uh, I said before, I wanted to be a part of more and see what Frontier was like. All right, second question. What did you begin liking if it, when, oh, we've already answered this one, so... I'll skip to the third. What did you think of Frontier VA and how do you see it in the future? I think Frontier VA is amazing because of the many active pilots, the internal events, and the hardworking staff. I believe the VA strives to make you feel good and welcome. It all goes it, – if it all goes well, uh, I think – I see Frontier as a thriving virtual airline with many active pilots and amazing events. With Global, a lot of things are to come for Frontier VA, and I would uh, think for other VAs as well. Exactly. Uh, I, I have been asked also, you know, with Alpha testing coming out, you know, a lot of pilots have been turning to me and they're like, you know, are, are we ready for global? And yes, we are. We are very ready for global. Um, so no need to worry. As soon as global hits, Frontier is going to start, start its, you know, climb to the top. And uh, I do thank everybody for their support, uh, especially Martinez and Matt. Uh, any more questions on that aspect, Matt? Uh, no, I think we covered most of it. All right. Um, oh, I did have uh, two more questions, sorry, uh, for you, uh, Martinez. Um, if if you were in charge of, of Frontier uh, Airlines, and this is, this is an important question to me because I always value feedback, and I say that as much as I can, uh, but if you were in charge of the airline, what would you do differently if you had the chance? What would you change about the airline? Well, that's a difficult question. I I wouldn't <laughs> know how with to. The hard ones off the yeah, back, right? I wouldn't. I wouldn't even know how to run a VA yet. Uh, I think so far it's been it's doing really well because we are getting new uh, members, and uh, we're we're having many amazing events, uh, and internal events too. So I don't I don't think I would change anything actually. I think oh, that's, I would. That's good, Matt. Do you see that he complimented you? <laughs> First time. I know, it's a first. Yeah, it's a first. First for everything. Well, I have one more question for you. This one is a slight variant of Mixed 56 Awesome's question, and it is, what airline would you never fly for in your life? Never fly for? (laughs) Yes, besides Southwest. had that chance. Uh, Besides Southwest. (laughs) Besides Southwest? Yes. Southwest Uh, is a no-brainer there. (laughs) Uh, probably, well, I guess Spirit. <laughs> Sorry. Not Ryan. Right, yeah. Sorry to all there. the Spirit fans out there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, I guess he just lacks the Spirit. <laughs> wow. He's just out of Spirit these days, literally. All right, so, uh, Martinez, uh, if uh, this is going to be a bigger one, so, you know, I put that thinking cap on, but if somebody right. came to you, you know, and they're like, you know, what's your favorite airline? And let's just, you know, for ball's sake, we'll just say, you know, oh, Frontier. And no, I'm not <laughs> puffing myself. Uh, this is just an example. But if somebody came to you and asked about your airline, you said Frontier, you, and they asked, you know, um, what about the airline does makes makes you want to fly? What about the airline makes you want to get up each day? It'd still be a part of it. What about it, you know, keeps you interested that you would be a Frontier pilot this long? How would you respond to them in your most honest way? And you and if you have some, you know, negative about the airline, you know, like, well, I love them. You know, they, they just Matt swears too much. 
you know, we, we can take it. So <laughs> just go ahead and tell us, uh, honestly, uh, how would you respond if somebody came up to you and asked you about the, about frontier virtual airlines? If someone came to me and asked me about the virtual airline, I would honestly reply with join us quickly as you can, because we're a very friendly and welcoming virtual airline. We love seeing new members joining. We're always active. If you go to our internal events and say anyone looking to fly, about two or three pilots will be willing to accompany you. We have amazing weekly events organized by our staff. Although our staff won't release anything about preparedness for global, but kind of already did in, earlier in the video. Uh, I believe we're ready. Uh, great things are to come to this virtual airline, and you'll have to be a part of it to see the result. Hey, man, uh, I, I can't wait for when global hits and uh, we just soar out, uh, out of those boundaries. It's going to be such a, a beautiful uh, first event. Uh, Matt, did you have any wrapping questions? Uh, yes. Yeah, so this one's kind of off the top of my head, but everyone knows how AR, AR is kind of against airlines, right? Virtual airlines. <laughs> Anti-VA. So, yeah. Yep. So ha, Martinez, how would you go about um, convincing him to join Frontier? Oh, that's Ooh. a difficult question. <laughs> Let, let's not put it Frontier specifically. Let, let's just say overall, how would you could try to convince somebody? No, and nothing against AR. You know, he's, yeah, he's yeah, a great yeah. dude. AR, but, we love you. <laughs> but um, just anybody in general who's against uh, virtual airlines, uh, how would you at least attempt to get somebody to be, be you know, like, oh, there are some good reasons to join a virtual airline. It's not just, you know, a bunch of five-year-olds running around crashing into each other. So how, so how would you... That, that would be a training server. <laughs> that would, that would be <laughs> yeah, it would. Drunk days. Uh, so go, go ahead and uh, explain uh, how you would try to convince somebody. And not just Frontier. You know, we're not just here to puff ourselves up. But overall, how would you try to get anybody to join any airline? Well, probably in a peaceful manner because I'm very peaceful. But... Uh, Hold on, hold on. What is the so, so you wouldn't punch him? Yeah. No. <laughs> so what's the aggressive manner? That's the real question. It's the aggressive manner. Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't know there was until you said he would do the peaceful one. Well, it's, well, it's, it's when you take him up in a fighter gen. You're like, you know, if you don't <laughs> join, I'm going to drop you into these mountains here. Yeah, sure, like that. <laughs> but uh, I would probably tell him uh, all the good aspects about uh, the VAs. Like, for example, the events. Uh, a lot of people like to join it. Uh Live, uh, we we are organized when we do an event. We know when we're gonna, where we're gonna go, when we're gonna descend, what our cruising altitude and speed will be, what our descending altitude and speed will be. Uh, Very exciting stuff. Yeah. Basically, basically, we know how to how to handle ourselves in a flight. So, you no, know, if 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 you're looking for those type of grade four or five pilots who uh, who know how to fly, you know, hit us up. <laughs> Except for Matt, Matt, Matt. I don't know how Matt ever got into the good expert server. <laughs> I'm just that out there. Uh... <laughs> no comment. That's typical Matt. All right. Um. So, Martinez, uh, I know we did actually have, uh, you know, those questions pointed at you. Um, I'm gonna actually turn the tables. Did you have any questions, um, for Matt or I? And if not, that's fine. Just you know, giving you the chance to ask the million dollar question if you had any. Well, I, I don't really have questions, but uh, how do you think? Uh, what, what do you think it is our preparedness for global? Do you think we are prepared? Um, speaking from you know the CEO of the global aspect, you know I, I basically a hundred percent am working on global by myself. Uh, we do have some aspects on it, and as global you know gets near, as Alpha moves into beta testing, I will be opening up more to my staff, but. Speaking, you know, if, if Global were to come out really soon, I personally think we would be ready. Um, yeah, right now, I, I think I'm currently at maybe um 68.5% positive we'll be ready. Okay, and I Just can't wait to bump he that up. Not exposed us yet. He's not exposed his plans yet to us. Yeah, and I have, I have had a lot of people ask me to tell us about Global Plans. Come on, man! If, if if I tell you the plans, it ruins it. So it's like you know, the, it's like the 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 alpha and beta testers flying, and you know, everybody's always like, you know, can you show us a picture, or can you give us a video of what it feels like? Or basically, can we even go out and fly? 
it's like, well, it ruins it. You know, it's, it's part of that hype that, you know, oh, it's coming, you know, get ready, everybody. Oh, they're starting to get stuff done. You know, it's getting closer. It's part of that hype. So um, hopefully everybody sees that. Yeah. As a, uh, I'm just, I, I, and yeah, in another aspect, I'm also making sure everything works flawlessly. I do do flights to, you know, make sure these certain aspects of it are correct. So, uh, but uh, I can tell you, and I did comment on the forum thread, I believe a couple of days ago, I am releasing global uh, peaks by, uh, I think it's Sunday, uh, this com- upcoming Sunday. So on the next podcast that is coming out, we will be releasing, or at least I will be releasing some global stuff. So, so tune into that episode. Yeah, I, 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 I really hope that it does appeal to some people. Um, we are approaching that 18-minute uh, buffer time, so I'm going to start wrapping this up. Matt, uh, before I close off, did you want to finish off with anything at all? Uh, actually, no, I don't this time. Well, Matt's going to be quiet. Wow. Yes, I am today. It's a surprise. All right. Well, thank you uh, from the bottom of our hearts, Martinez, for joining us today. It has meant a lot, especially to me, that – you know, of all the guests we could have had on um, for the first ep- first uh, guest star episode, we could have had you. Uh, it does mean a lot to me. So thank you. And I'm sure Matt feels the same. That, uh, thank you for accepting the invite, for coming here today. And uh, in a couple, couple of days or so, you'll get to hear yourself uh, on YouTube. So <laughs> thank you again for stopping by, for you know, being interrogated like that. Uh, <laughs> no problem. Always a pleasure. Thank you for having me. No, it's it's our pleasure, man. It's our pleasure. Uh, it means a lot that our frontier pilots care enough that they would actually, you know, come on to the podcast and talk to us like that. Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been the Frontier Virtual Podcast with your hosts, Infinite Dot Flight and Matt. On behalf of Frontier Virtual Airlines and all the staff flying with us today, I humbly thank you for tuning in to Episode 3. Any questions, uh, just put them in the comment sections of the Infinite Flight Community Forum. Uh, just look up quote virtual uh, sorry frontier virtual podcast and you cannot miss us from one pilot to another i wish you clear skies smooth landings and i'll see you in the next episode have a great day